Hello everyone, today I would like to come back to the heroic fantasy world. Uh, actually the adventures of Conan the Barbarian. Described in this case by Leo Sprag de Camp, who was one of the very successful continuators of Conan stories by Erwin Robert Howard. Sometimes he was using the material uh, unfinished drafts that were left after this genius author. Uh, sometimes he was writing his own stories from the scratch and one of these stories written from the scratch of course published as massive paperback fantasy book uh, was uh, the novel ental entitled Conan and the Spider God. Of course uh, we are fighting here with Admas character of our world and to someone would say hey, hey man but you are talking about the massive book. Yes Maybe the range of this book when it was published was quite massive, but the content is not. Because Conan the Barbarian himself is not a plain figure. This is the archetype of real man and real warrior, as I was saying in one of my previous uh, videos. And uh, what's so special about the Conan and Spider God story is the fact that uh, Conan is very young when the... Uh, story action of this story takes place and the uh, quite surprising thing is the fact that after the death of his be beloved one of course violent death uh, just to uh, emphasize the situation in which Conan and his beloved one were placed Conan for a moment cries after the death of the beloved one but later uh, he moves on and fights back. It was actually surprising when you read this novel for the first time and uh, after reading the famous set of novels uh, which was published in 60s and 70s by two publishers, Lancer and Ace, that Conan after such a trauma he experienced shows uh, such intensive feelings and cries. Uh, I don't know why Sprague de Camp uh, described such scene, which doesn't fit to pure characteristic of Conan the Barbarian, but it doesn't mean it. It it means, in my opinion, that this doesn't fit only to the main characteristic to Conan the Barbarian. Uh, this is my and also others maybe illusoric impression because, as I said, Conan was very very young, still teenager, when the action of this novel takes place. So maybe here the genius writer, so Sprague de Camp, wanted to show more human features of a great hero, Conan the Barbarian, to show to the readers how he evolved later to the uh, personality he, he was known for. So Conan and the Spider God by Leon Sprague de Camp is definitely worth reading despite its age. Very good novel. I encourage all of you to do that. Bye.